Laura woke up super early this morning. And so I was going to attempt to try to sleep on the couch while she was awake. And so I created some barricades in the room. So yeah, I put her down there with some toys. And then I like blocked off everything. I moved the couch over here so she couldn't fall down the stairs. Now that I'm waking up a little bit more, I realize this might not be a very good idea. <laughs> a lot about how I homeschool different kids at different ages because their abilities are all different and this morning as we were doing our activity I thought I'd grab the camera to show you because this is um, an activity that worked really well with their different age levels so what we did today is we went shopping as a family I have these alphabet cards here and the kids would just pick an alphabet card and then they would take their letter downstairs and one at a time, they would pick out a toy. So for example, with B, you could do a ball or a bandana or whatever. Elise, did you just buy a princess outfit? Mm -hmm. What letter did you have? P. P, what sound does a P make? And I just did Print T. You just did T, what did you buy? These, um, these make trails. Those make trails, very nice. Caleb, I would ask him to count a certain number of coins into the container. So I didn't ask him to differentiate between any of them. I just asked him to be counting and I helped him. At least when she paid for things, I gave her a number and a specific type. So we talked about the difference between these. So she would find six dimes or she would count, um, you know, seven quarters. So she was differentiating between type and talking to me about them. And then with Isaac, I could just tell him um, that costs a dollar and 17 cents and he would count that out. Four quarters, one dime, one nickel, and two pennies. So my other favorite thing about this activity is because I had them shopping downstairs, um, I got to teach them one at a time. And so I was here counting with Elise and teaching her about the coins. And then I would instruct her on her next letter and she would go downstairs to find the, something that represented that letter sound and um, by that point Isaac was coming up or Caleb and um, it ended up being a really great activity. It probably only took us about 20 minutes and um, I think they each just did four things maybe but um, that was reviewing letter sounds, it was playing and it was also working on money and numbers. So now we're going to go into our reading time but that's just one example of one of the hands-on activities. We'll still be doing um, Isaac's math book later, but this is just the kind of morning interactive activities that we do. Um, I just noticed in the background this awesome sauce. That's so Kendra. Kendra will have seven cups in the bedroom, like all half full. Hey, at least two of those are in the bathroom, and then there's like three on the counter. I just apparently really like to have cups, and they usually all have about that much water in them. I guess I'm just not a finisher. Can't do it. We got the crazy thing. The mesh eater. The mesh feeder eater. Okay, here you and go. It's got Nana in it. What do you think, big girl? She's like, uh, I don't know. Yes, you are a recorded child. Hi. Hi, what do you think? Does it taste yummy? Oh, she's going for more. Oh. Try it again. Oh. Try it again. <laughs> that was classic. Great face there, Laura. Alright, come ba, 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 ba. Say good night. Say good night. Say nap time. Nap time. Oh, after a long morning, nap time is delicious.